Welcome to episode 2 of my C++ tutorial. This episode will be showing you how to use or how to make a hello world program which is like the easiest thing in programming. So what you want to do is go ahead and start a new project in CodeLite or whatever ID you're using. So if you're fairly good with computers you can kind of probably figure this out. Otherwise, I'd recommend doing going along with what I'm doing. What you want to do is, under the re left side, go to Console and choose a simple executable with G++, which is the uh, MinGW compiler, or if you're on Linux, it would be the original... The name escapes me for some reason. Uh, GCC compiler, but just use G++, because that's what C the C++ compiler is. GCC only does C, I think. Anyway, under project name, I'm just going to put tutorial. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Then go ahead and save it somewhere. I have a folder for all my projects. Oh, just don't, don't put in a folder name. Just hit select folder and create the, fo the project under a separate directory. And over here on the left, you will see that you have your tutorial workspace, which is this little house icon. And under that, you have the tutorial project. And under that, you have SRC. You have main.cpp, which is a C++ source file. I'll go ahead and zoom in on this a bit so you can see it better. Um, which, if you want to zoom in, it's control and use your scroll wheel. But this is C code, which we don't want since we're doing C++. So let's delete all this, and we can start from the beginning. So pretend that never even existed. So the first thing we need to do in order to make Hello World is figure out how to get a print function so that way we can output to the console. These functions are in pound sign include, which basically means include this file at the top, then uh, open or like less than sign IO stream no spaces which is the input and output which basically allows you to get user input and um, output to the console and then if you've ever used like Python like which I highly recommend you learn before C++ it makes it a lot easier then what you want is some sort of entry point in Python, the entry point is either the beginning of the file or your underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, something like that. I haven't used Python in forever, so I don't know if that's still the case. But basically, you need somewhere for the program to start. In C++, you can't start from just a file. You need to have a entry point function, which is int, which says this. When you call this function, it gives you back a number main, which is, the, it's looking for this main function as an entry point, um, open parentheses, closed parentheses, I think that's, no, I forget, I have no idea what those are called, I'm sorry about that, then curly bracket, and then when you hit enter, it automatically creates your other curly bracket, and, um, in C++, all white space is ignored pretty much, unless it's like within a string. So, just note that you can format things how you like. There are also things you could put inside these main parentheses things. Um, to, uh, what do you do? Or, to get arguments from the user, but we're not going to go into that right now. Uh, anyway, so what we need to do is uh, go into the standard namespace. So std colon colon c out, which means c output. And std, basically all your uh, standard library functions are contained in this little std, which is a namespace. And a namespace is like just a holder to keep names from getting mixed up with other things. So you can have if you want to create your own custom thing, you could have like custom 
C out so and it wouldn't interfere with the STD or you could just have C out but if you wanted to not write this what you could do is write using namespace STD and then instead of having to write it every time in front of C out you can just have that and it'll pretend that all the stuff in STD is on the same level as everything else. So anyway, um, we're not going to use this because it's generally a bad idea to do that. Because it kind of defeats the purpose of having the namespace in the first place. So um, then we have these two less than signs, which basically means um, you're piping the output. You could call it that, I guess, if you're familiar with like shell or something. To or basically, you're, what you're doing is you're sending this on this side over to this. That's the simplest way to put it. So the right goes to the left. If you had C in, which would be input, you'd want to send the input over to the right. So basically, it points towards wherever you're sending the data. So let's write hello world line break. Let's put a little exclamation mark in there. And then, if you use Python, I don't think you need to use semicolons. In C++ you do. But that also means you can have multiple lines in the same line. So you can write another thing there, but I'm not going to do that. So go ahead and save your file. You can go to Build. And then um, Build Project. Or you can press F7. And then down here, it'll say zero error, zero warnings, assuming you've done this correctly. And then you can go to build, run, or just press control F5. And there you go, it says hello world. So, what have we learned? We've learned about includes, entry points, some basic syntax, and we've learned about C out, and we learned about hello world. So I think that's a pretty good stopping point here. And next episode, I'm going to show you uh, variables in C++ and how to use functions.